I'm really fascinated by the fact that I can have a work in a museum and at the same time streaming from my website. There, there's something about that accessibility factor that I think is really useful. Some of the influences for my art practice are definitely my family members. My folks worked with um, what they had. You know, I, I used to say that like they they worked with very little, but what they worked with was a lot. It was um, culture, it was family history, it was their imaginations. They're, they had a lot to work with. And um, I like thinking about that too, about like, how can I flip this? Well, you know, I, maybe I don't have access to this tool or maybe I don't have access to this um, piece of equipment, but how can I stretch what I already have to um, be able to serve my imagination? There's something about the medium and its dissemination that um, allows like the general public to have a really sophisticated understanding of what moving images do for better or for worse you know like um if they're playing with stereotypes um you know if uh if the if the image is degrading people you know all of those types of things you know it's part of my um work as an artist to um, show those systems how they work how we are viewing people um in the moving image uh space the preoccupations of my work are around technology, specifically technologies of representation, technologies with lenses, um, surveillance, those types of things, in relationship to blackness, like how blackness or black culture show up in those spaces, how they navigate, how they explode um, representation altogether. And I think that the moving image, the, uh, the VR space, um, um, all of these new um, technological spaces of representation um, are uh, great ways where like old stories are becoming new again or, or the old is being seen through a different literal lens. Um, and uh, we're getting to kind of like discover who we are once more um, through another technology in the same ways that um, we discovered who we were through um, photography hundreds of years ago. I was actually really uh, inspired by the Dream Commission uh, title um, in thinking about dreams in a kind of psychoanalytic way. I'm making a work that is uh, preoccupied with like memory, um, moving image, archival footage, and uh, dreams. Thinking about how your dreams can posit new futures um, for you. Uh, so in a way, like your subconscious mind, like putting into your life little Easter eggs that you can open and understand as a, a, a way of communication that you're having with yourself to bring in new features. Um, but uh, making those new features requires a looking back and um, I am diving into archival footage as that way of looking back. I have an incredible privilege to think through subject matter um, rigorously. It's the time and space that's needed to do that is not um, something that everyone gets. And so to be commissioned means that I get to do that more. And I feel just incredibly blessed to be able to make art.